Hello, my name is Dan Pearson. I'm a cooper at Fort William Historical Park. Um, my job here is to interpret the craft and trade of coopering, and especially as it relates to the fur trade in the early 19th century. So coopering is a traditional trade, and um, would be traditionally would be learned through an apprenticeship, um, usually several years. How many years would depend on where you got your training. I was a, a hobbyist woodworker from uh, from early on, but I made my living as a laborer in you know sawmills and and um, brickyards and construction. My friend Boyd, who I've mentioned a few times, said, well, come on and try at the, at the fort. So I, I, got to, uh, I got to try it and I got to like it. Boyd taught me how to make a bucket. And, uh, Steve Kovacs was hired to teach me all the stuff I didn't know about Coopern, which was a lot, a lot. Here at Fort William, we're, we're portraying an anachronism. Uh, we have people coming in to work in the various trade shops for a season, a summer season. Some will come and, and work for one season, some will come and, and work for several. You know, it's mostly high school and university students. Usually our, our programs are fairly short duration. The nature of the trade is that it takes time, uh, a lot of time, to develop a skill like that. So as far as education groups, it's, it's a facet of the, uh, of the programs that we offer. So if I get half a dozen kids, I'm going to have them assist with the most basic uh, type of, of labor, cutting a log and splitting out the stave wood, as I showed with the fro and the beetle, and um, shaping a stave, using a draw knife, backing the stave, maybe hollowing the stave. But that's really about all, all that uh, can be accomplished in, in uh, such a short time. So they get a, an introduction and a taste and a try of, of the, uh, you know, the, the very basic uh, tools and techniques of the trade. Retail is, is a, a big part of my winter work. Summertime is interpretation and demonstration uh, and uh, day camps and, and uh, education programs run pretty much throughout the year. Um, but uh, wintertime is the time to get material prepared and to produce items which will go to the, the gift shop or will be given uh, as presentation items. Um, so it's mostly, for, for retail, it's mostly smaller pieces like water buckets or, or sauna pails. And we call them piggins. That's the historic English name for those, those little one-handled pails. So those are the kinds of things, uh, pails and, and uh, buckets are the kinds of things that we most, mostly make for retail. The thing that I've learned, I think, about, about craft work is that it, it requires a good eye and a certain standard, a, a standard of, of what is acceptable to, to me personally. I, I don't like to be rushed. Um, sometimes you have to, you have to, you have to go hard and go fast, um, and that's where that's where uh, skill and training comes to your to your aid to your rescue. But it, it is to me it's it's most important to do good work to look at that finished object and feel the goodness of it. The the the, uh, the craft uh, itself is is its own reward. Doing uh, doing good work and, and having good results. Um, that's the, the, the beauty of working with your hands, having visible, visible results. There's a, there's a Finnish word which I can't remember. Uh, work is visible time. So you, you look at that, that pail or that keg or that, whatever it might be, and that's visible time. There's your, there's your time. The uh, woodworking skills of a cooper could lead you to, um, to other types of, of woodworking. Mostly, it, it's going to be um, craft-type work. So there, there is a demand for, for that sort of thing. Again, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty small market, um, and you have, to do, you have to do really exceptionally good work, I think, to, to make a living. And that's, and that's the, the key and the goal is, you know, food on the table and, and uh, gas in the tank. And <laughs> um, the, for, for most people, that's, that's, that's good, that's, that's great, that's enough.
enjoy every bit of it. You know, every 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 shaving, every every container completed. Uh, it's it's all it's all good. It's, it's uh, just enjoy it. My usual note to people who retire from here is, you know, behold the far horizons. I've been here for a long time, and I'm not ready to go yet. But but you know the things are wrapping up in in many many ways. And, Still great fun though.